the other thing we're very interested in as we talk about these vacant lots uh, is starting to map in cities some of what I was discussing earlier of making like wildlife corridors through rooftop green roof plantings where we intentionally start to designate here's a good corridor for this type of songbird or this type of wildlife that that we know exists in the city and we'd like to set up a habitat that encourages and, and gives them places to nest and to hang out. In addition to that, we also want to map in cities where are all the old streams and old waterways that have mm -hmm. been paved over and covered up that are in, say, old vacant lots oftentimes. So if we, if we map these old waterways and we find that they're running under a publicly owned vacant lot, then we're looking at let's approach the city and talk about daylighting this stream. Yeah, and daylighting streams is becoming a, yeah. a more more known recommended implementation by ecological designers in urban landscapes. Is let's daylight the streams. Let's bust open the concrete, bust open the asphalt, and plant trees around it so that people in cities can have access to water and to trees with a relative ease, say less than a half mile or a mile away.